every word you say is a blueprint that your mind, body and psyche are working to make your reality. We make our thoughts and our thoughts make us, then we go out into the world and we justify our thoughts every day. But we, our words are a blueprint and when you know that you think, well I better pay attention to that blueprint. I better not say this kid is killing me. My job is making me want to die. I'm so stressed out by what? The queue mm. in Hughes Market. Mm. Well, go to Zimbabwe where there is no Hughes Market. Right. You know, when we understand and appreciate that our thoughts become yeah, reality, our things. Yeah. we can create the life of our dreams as well. Absolutely. We can start to manifest our thoughts by, by yeah. visualizing, by telling ourselves what we want, who we want to become, yeah. and taking those actions toward it. We can manifest our dreams. You really can. You can stop being ill. You can change the shape of your body. You can change, change your digestion. Yeah. You can have physical things. You can change the way you interact with your kids. So here's a good example. My kid is a nightmare. Change that to my child as age appropriate. Mm. This builder is going to go, oh my God, that's a disaster. But a good builder will go, it's a challenge. When you said talking to girls is terrifying, you just change that to, it's challenging, yeah. but hey, there's hundreds of girls yeah. out there. It's right. a numbers game, one will say Some yes. Will say hi. Yeah. And even if they say no, the only risk in life is not to take the risk. Uh -huh. That's the risk. If you don't, take, when you take the risk and it goes wrong, you learn something. If you say, I'm choosing to do this and choosing to feel great about it, your mind has a very clear image. The way you feel about everything is down to two things, the pictures you make in your head and the words you say to yourself, there's nothing else. So if you choose to run, going, I'm running, so I'm raising money for charity, so I'm going to complete this run. Even though my feet hurt, my knee hurts because I'm going to raise money. But you could run going, oh, I hate this. It's, I could be at home watching Netflix, I haven't eaten, and now my knee hurts, and then you'll have to stop. So when you keep saying, I'm mm -hmm. choosing because, it. Because, yeah. yeah. But you have to reason with your mind and negotiate, and your mind will always do what it thinks you want. That's its job. And what, if you could only tell your mind what you want, using relevant, up-to-the-minute words, you'll get exactly what you want. What do you say yourself on a daily basis? Is there like a process in the morning, afternoon, yeah. and night, or what would it be like? Actually, when I wake up, the first thing I would say is I love my life. I love my linen, and I love my cup of tea. I always wake up going, I love my life. And then when I make my go, I love this tea. Hmm. I love the coffee. I love the shower gel in my shower. Because I, I really believe that if you can make your mind get excited by little things, then big things every day is like Christmas. And I think when you wake up, you should go, oh, what have I got today? Oh, a world of stress. I've got this, 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 this. So you should always wake up and go, I love my life. I'm alive in a free country. I've got all this stuff to make tea. And life is great. So I do that. Mm -hmm. The second thing I do is I tend to stay in bed and do all my emails because then I feel like I'm not working because mm. I'm in bed, sure. propped up, drinking my tea and I get all of that Relaxed. out of the way. Yes, yeah, very stressed. relaxed. It's more relaxed. Not stressed. I'd also say you make your beliefs and then your beliefs make you and then you go out into the world and it starts to mirror whatever you believe. So make your beliefs amazing. Make your beliefs good. Like if you believe that dogs bite you, you make that belief and then you act badly around dogs and then dogs pick up your anxiety and they do bite you because you've made them nervous. Mm -hmm. If you believe dogs are wonderful and loyal and man's go, oh, I love dogs. The dog will love you because our beliefs, our thoughts become feelings and they resonate out from us and back to us events that always match up our thoughts and beliefs. And when you know that, all you have to do is change your thoughts and beliefs, make them positive. You can choose whatever you wish, negative, positive. You get to choose what you can't choose is what you do to your body and your health and your negative. You can't choose that. I could say I'm just a negative person, but over here is a positive person. We all can choose to do that, but you can never choose how you ruin your health, defeat your immune system, paralyze your autoimmune system, affect your nervous system. What goes on in your body when you're negative is, is horrific because the body can't choose. It has to react to negative. You make cortisol, that's a stress hormone. That shuts down fertility. It lays down fat. Mm. So all the stuff you're doing when you're negative, giving yourself heart attacks and strokes and 
high blood pressure, all because you're choosing to be negative when if you come over to the positive world, which is so much better, you have better health. You live longer. You yeah. look 20 years younger. That's a good thing, too, because yeah. all the stress leaves your face. Sure. You don't have to take laxatives and all those antacids and stuff that people take because of their thinking. One final question is what's your definition of greatness? My definition of greatness is do what you love and love what you do. Everyone has a gift and your gift tends to lie behind what you love. So find what you love and then you'll never work a day in your life.